Hello, everyone, and welcome to Young Town's Spook Fist 2017. Spook Fist is the time of the year we watch something very scary before falling to bed at night in hopes that we will have nightmares. Can we provoke the nightmares? So I encourage you to cuddle up with the one that you love. If not, a stuffed animal will do. As I introduce to you my first non-video game related video, Goosebumps, the blob that ate everyone. Let's watch. Turn that up. So right off the bat, we meet our two heroes, Zach and Alex, who are forced by someone's parental units to clean up a spooky basement. Zach, check this out. I wonder what's inside. Don't open it. Why not? Can't you read? Top secret science project. Beware. Okay, now I've got to open it. No, don't, don't, op don't open that. <gasps> They're just worms. What's a box of worms doing down in the basement? Check this out. I swear to God, if someone put some worms in my face, I'd kill them. Look at this. Run, Alex! Get it off! Help me! Help! Help him! Well, what do you guys think? That was the scariest story that you've ever written. Yeah, I call it Adventure of the Blob Monster. That's, see, that is classic Goosebumps in a nutshell for you. R.L. Stein, the author, creator of Goosebumps, loves to write in these fake outs that hook you in, but it's like, oh, nope, not yet. It's awesome. If you ask me, it was lame. Ooh, I'm out of here. If you ask me, kid needs to redo his ADR. ADR stands for Automated Dialogue Replacement. It's when an actor has to come back into a recording studio to redub their lines to their existing performances. It's really tricky because you have to line them up exactly to the original take. Can we do more kazoo? Yeah, I like to kazoo. If I were to take a wild guess, our resident bully Adam might have delivered some inaudible lines due to that cookie he was munching on, resulting in having to come back into the studio and uh, re-record them. If you ask me, it was lame. The reason that we have seen so much bad ADR in all visual media is because it's hard to do. Not really. This whole take was ADR and you didn't know it. After Zach questions his friendship with Adam, they wander into a seemingly abandoned building. Sense of danger. I mean, this whole place could crash down on us. Wow. Cool. What are you doing? You know, I really appreciate Alex's character. She speaks pretty much what the audience is thinking. Zach, that sign said danger on it. The building could collapse on us. We're not supposed to be in here. Look at this old typewriter. My dad used to have one just like it. <laughs> Who gets freaking shocked by a typewriter? <laughs> All right. As it gets up from the ground, they run into the owner of the store. What are you doing in here? Uh, just leaving? You didn't touch anything, did you? She says that Zack can take the typewriter free of charge so long as he promises to write a really scary story with it. And as our heroes exit the scene, the newly introduced character mysteriously vanishes. So Alex and Zack head over to his house as he gears up to write his magnum opus, The Blob Story, his first line. Reader beware, in for a scare. Nah. He did the thing. That's the beginning. You will beware, you're in for a scare. Clouds massed in the sky overhead and unleash their fury. Hey, where's that come from? Oh. What was that? Who's there? This is so weird. 
You all right? I've never seen a storm blow in this quickly. Yeah, pretty weird. But if you're sure you're okay, I'll go downstairs and call your mom. I freaking love how Zack's dad's only role is to burst into this room at random times. How you guys doing? Still okay? You look, uh, scared. You look, uh, scared. All right, I'll go call the power company. Each time Zack writes something, it happens. It takes them about nine years to figure it out, and when Alex lays it all out for Zack, he still doesn't believe it. What was the last sentence you typed? I don't know. Yes, you do. Something about Alex and Zack. Oh, yeah, and, and his story that he's writing is about two characters named Alex and Zack. Whoa, I don't know where he got that inspiration from. Alex and Zack were alone in the dark house, so what? So this. You wrote about the storm, and the storm started. Oh. And then you wrote about the wind, and the wind began to howl. <gasps> and now you wrote the world alone. In the dark house. I need more candles. No problem, my dad's got lots downstairs. Hey dad, we need more candles! What? You're nuts, it's just coincidence. Oh really? It makes more sense than believing I'm making all this happen. No, not you, the typewriter. The typewriter. How many times, how long is it gonna take this kid to figure this out? He then decides to give the typewriter a test by writing that his good pal, Adam, appears randomly at his house. He knocked on the front door. Happy? What are you doing here? Whoa! Did we disturb you? No, I was just putting this back in my sister's room. Yeah, all right. You, come on. No, it's a true. No, it's a true. I was trying to remember why I came over. Zach made you come here. Excuse me? Now, I don't know about you guys, but if I could summon literally anything into existence, I don't think one of those things would be a resident <laughs> hater. It would be something cool like, uh, Luke was broke, with no snackies to his name. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, Pringles appeared out of nowhere. Oh snap, you know what? I forgot to mention that this video is brought to you by Pringles! All right, good, good. Zach and Alex are on the same page. Now all we gotta do is get Adam to believe with us. Everything he types out, it comes true. That's weird. No way I'm falling for a dumb old story like that. I don't know why we have to prove something to a kid in cowboy pajamas. <laughs> cowboy pajamas, cowboy pajamas. My grandfather had given me these as a final gift as the government took him away to put him in the witness protection program. Listen here, son. You wear these cowboy pajamas, you understand? You wear these, and I'll find you. No, no. If anyone makes fun of you, you write on their magical typewriter. Write on their magical typewriter. I mean, if you type that Adam has two heads, neither of them would believe you. Adam, no! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. See ya. <laughs> the blob monster hid in Zack's basement, waiting for fresh meat. What a jerk. Now I have to retype the whole story. What a jerk. Five sentences in, I gotta start all over. The kids head down to the basement to check on the blob monster for themselves. It's one of my dad's garden gloves. Fresh me. <laughs> Beware the blob monster. Beware Zack's power. Goosebumps. Two fake outs in one episode. <laughs> I 
I gotta come clean to you guys. Earlier when I said I had a sponsor, I lied. I just wanted to seem like a cool YouTuber, gets cool opportunities. But instead, I just probably just looked like a big jerk. 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 I guess this video has three fake outs now. So the very next day, Zach rings up his pal Alex to tell her that he's finished with the story. Alex, you've got to hear this. I'm writing my best story ever. Really? Yeah, it's great. The blob monster attacks the video store in the mall. Everyone's screaming, trying to run away. But they can't, and the blob eats everyone. You know what? That story actually doesn't sound good. Is that Alex? Uh-huh. Hang on a sec. Ask her to come for dinner. Okay. And why don't you run out and rent a video for tonight? Wait a second, how, how is this working out? Are you giving Zach money to buy the video or is he coming out of pocket? Fresh <gasps> meat, fresh meat, fresh meat. <laughs> you have me in your power, jerk. Hey, you think you're ready for Revenge of the Gator people? I mean, Laser Monster is looking pretty good only because I never saw the first Gator people film. Kitty section's over there. Right, I must be in the jerk section. Later. Happens, right? And the blob eats everyone. Hey, Zach, you're gay. It's not a joke, Adam. Run. Come on. What is it? Some kind of balloon? It's a real monster. Radio controlled. Cool. That's wicked. Cool. Adam, no, it's for real. Fortunately, the blob monster only winds up eating Adam, and Zack has to dart home to save the day. It's coming true. The blob's eating everyone in town, just like I wrote on the typewriter. Well, what happens? How does it end? I don't know. I never got to the ending. <laughs> Now's a good time to think of one. It's out there! Right. Okay. So... The blob disappears. Ah! Tight, Zach, tight! I can't! The keys are jammed! <gasps> Please! <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're toast. Wait a minute. When Adam typed on it, nothing happened. What are you talking about? He typed that the blob was in the basement. When we went down there, it wasn't there. Well, it's here now. <gasps> Don't you get it? It's not the typewriter, it's me. I have the power. Maybe all I have to do is think, and the blob will be gone. Well, do me a favor. Think fast. <laughs> I have the power! What power? Forget it. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't understand. understand. <laughs> Goosebumps! What's up? Before you click off, I just want to give a quick thank you for watching this video. If you're looking for more Goosebumps related content, there is this incredible podcast by some good friends of mine called Goosebuds on iTunes. You guys should definitely check it out, especially episode 24, because that's an episode I feature on. Uh. Also, I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons on Patreon because the Adocalypse here on YouTube is so real and it's near to impossible to make like anything here. Patreon and Twitch is 
how I'm making a living now. I've come to the conclusion that, you know, I'm not going to try to upload every single week, every single day to fit these algorithms and to stress out just to release subpar content. I ain't worried about it. I feel like I'm in a better place now mentally and I'm just going to kind of do whatever comes to mind. Even if that means like the video is going to be demonetized or whatever, like I'm just going to do it. A little, a little message for me to you, stay inspired. Do things that make you excited. Don't stress out about the outcome of a project. It's a lot easier said than done. These past few years have been this huge battle of just constantly stressing out about the outcome. If a video is gonna perform well or if there's even point into making something because it's not relevant and search engine optimization and all this stuff. Personally, I am not going to worry about that anymore. And I don't know what I would do without uh, my friends here who are also content creators who constantly remind me on a daily basis almost like to make stuff that you're excited about. It may sound dumb and cliche, but uh, it's helped out a, a whole lot. This is officially the longest wrap up ever, but whatever. We're gonna do it, we're gonna make it, 